mighty hand and an outstretched arm. His love endures forever for the life that's been reborn. His love endures forever. Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Good morning and welcome back to Sunday School. Yeah. Good morning. Today is our kickoff Sunday, so we're so excited that we'll be back having uh, Sunday School together. And we'll be making these videos every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. so that you and your family can watch them together and know the story that we're talking about in worship as well. So, uh, so good. I'm, for those who don't know, I'm Pastor John. I'm Heather. And we're just glad to be here. And Heather is going to read a great story this morning about Joseph and how he helps his family. Joseph helps his family. God always watched over Joseph. God spoke to Joseph in dreams, and Joseph used this knowledge to plan ahead. When the famine came, people all over came in to find food for their families because they heard that Joseph had saved up for seven years. Even Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt to find food. But it had been such a long time since they'd seen each other, the brothers didn't recognize Joseph. Joseph kept the secret of who he was from his brothers for a while, but soon he couldn't wait any longer. Joseph finally told them who he was. I am your brother Joseph, who you sold to the Egyptian traders. Don't feel bad anymore because God sent me ahead of you so that I could save people, including you. This famine is going to last for many years, so hurry back to your father and tell him that I am safe. I want to bring your families and your children and all of your sheep and goats to live near me. Good idea. <laughs> Once Joseph's brothers saw who he was, they all hugged each other and cried. They jumped up and down with relief and joy. Joseph and his brothers talked and talked. The brothers talked from the time the sun came up to the time the sun went down. When the Pharaoh heard that Joseph's brothers had come, he told Joseph, tell them to go get everyone in your family and give them the best land in Egypt to call their own. Joseph gave his brothers wagons, food, and new clothes, and they went back to their father and told him the good news. Joseph is still alive. He is the ruler of all of Egypt. Everyone danced when they heard the good news. This is all I could ask for, Joseph's father said. Now I will see my son again. Let's get moving. Joseph's family all moved to Egypt, but the brothers were worried. What if Joseph is still angry with us? We were so awful to him. What can we do? The brothers went to Joseph and said, here we are. We don't deserve to be your brothers anymore, so we will be your slaves. But Joseph said to them, don't be silly. I am your brother, no matter what. Even though you planned for something bad to happen to me, God turned it into something good. Mm. <laughs> what a great story, huh? Interesting story. Very interesting story. <laughs> you know, um, all of the Old Testament, uh, especially Genesis, uh, the book of Genesis, uh, one way to read it is a story about family and about how that family breaks up and then comes back together, how they hurt each other, and how they forgive each other, and how God somehow mysteriously is working through all those things. Um, and in your family, right now, God is working. God is at work through you and through your mother and through your father. And even though it's not always, maybe not always, you know, perfect, nothing is, um, it's that we forgive each other, right? Yeah. And that we move through those things. And somehow God's in the mix there, uh, working all things out for good, for God's greater purpose. So, um, that's really, you know, forgive one another. I think one is one of the messages for certainly yeah. because Joseph's brother treated him pretty badly. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> that was, right. That was. On there, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how bad your brothers treat you, but not this bad. Um, really badly, and yet he forgives them. Right. And I think the other thing is just remember that no matter where where we're at, and certainly at this point, I know that we're at a kind of a dark space in terms of. Uh, being in the middle of a pandemic and we're not able to see people, maybe we're not able to go to school like we would, we can't come to church like we would. 
and continue to know that God is at work and trust in God even during this time. Right. So, yeah, I thought we would kind of maybe make a little picture. Great. Um, like Pastor was just saying, during this time with the pandemic, if you can think of something, even though it's tough stuff we're going through, maybe God's doing some good things in your life because of the pandemic. Something good has happened. It wouldn't have happened if the pandemic wasn't happening. Um, so if you can think of something, maybe draw a picture of it. Pastor and I are going to draw a picture of something going on good in our lives. Um, and then you can show the picture to your family and talk about it as a family and talk about how God is always doing some good things behind the scenes, it seems like, sometimes. Do you have your picture there, Pastor? Um, I'm not a very good artist. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I'm drawing a little something. Yeah, and you can even, Pastor brought up some crayons for us. You can color your picture or, you know, whatever you want to do to make it, kind of jazz it up and make it your own. And, uh, you know, Unbelievable. get special. Maybe everybody in your family can make their own picture. Or you can all make one together. Yeah. Hang it up. You can send us a picture. Yeah, we would love to see what you're up We're to. We're always loving to send you a picture. And speaking of sending things, oh yeah, we—that's a good segue, right? <laughs> Definitely. For um, we'll be sending you. Uh, we should have received before today a box of stuff. In that box, there is a uh, a, mag uh, a magazine, right, that has things for you to do right. about this lesson. What are they called? Leaflets. Leaflets. Thank yeah. You. you get a leaflet. Packets. Uh, that you can use and you can uh, do things about so Joseph and his family and yeah. learn more together at home. Exactly. Okay, what do you got? And, and we also are sending oh, a little link, right? right? Yep, yep. If you go underneath the video here on Facebook, you'll see a little link to a video about this story so you can get like some more information there. But what, you, what did you It's draw? a good video. You should watch, you should watch <laughs> yeah. the video because it'll give you give the you whole like, story. The, kind of the backstory to yeah, what we just great. read. Yeah, it's really good. But yeah, like what we were saying here with the pictures. All right, so my picture of, of me and my wife, this is me, that's Vicki, <laughs> and um, we, we've taken a lot of walks together. And one of the things we discovered in Concord, like all these trails, nice. that hiking trails, and we've taken a couple of them, we go up and you have these really nice views of the mountains and stuff. So that's been a really, a really, really wonderful offset of this. I don't know if we would have done that otherwise. Great, and I drew, um, a picture of a car, if you can't tell what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a futuristic car, yeah. yeah and then over here is a little, <laughs> a little dollar bill, a little piece of money, because I actually work a lot more from home now, so I've been able to save a lot of gas money. Normally I have a, like a 40 minute commute back and forth to work, so I was able to save a lot of money and use that towards yeah. something else maybe, so I spent a little, a little and like money. Maybe, and, and it's better for the environment, right? When right. We're not as much Less food, cars you know, on the road, so, so everybody wins. Yeah. yeah. So we'd like, love to see what you're going to be, what you can send us, and you know, send us a video, a picture. You can post a picture on Facebook of your drawings or mail them in. We can hang them up here on our board. Mm. Love to hear what you guys are yeah. up to and what blessings have come your way since this pandemic has taken off. <laughs> Let's end with a prayer. Sure. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for this day, and we give you thanks, Lord, that you are always with us in all things, and we help you, Lord, help us, Lord, to love our families, to forgive as we are forgiven by you, and most of all, Lord, let us trust that even in these times, you are always with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So good to see you today. Thank you, Heather, sure. for this Thank great you. lesson, and we'll see you next Sunday. God bless. Bye.